When the doctor told me that I had cancer, I thought that he was wrong. Cause see, I work for God. I'm busy about his business. He wouldn't let that happen to me. No, this was not in my plan. I just happened to fall in love with your man. And he grabbed me and he said that I always wanted to be a big girl. So he was gonna show me what big girls do. And I wanted to cry and say, I'm not a big girl. I'm just nine years old. But I couldn't say nothing. I want someone to take my trash out, <laughs> to mow my lawn, somebody to fix things when it's broke. And they tell me, girl, my husband don't do that. You need a mechanic, a maintenance man, somebody else, because my husband don't do none of that. I don't know your issues. I know mine. It's a list of them, right? I know my issues. And I know that sometimes we can find ourselves feeling overwhelmed, frustrated, tired. Some people's issues is their husband. Some people's issues is that they want a husband. Some people's issues is that they want kids. Some people's issues is that you got kids. You know, it's just, you know, people just deal with different things. And I don't know what it is, but it's not too big for God. Come on, yeah. It's not too big for him. And so we need to recognize that we serve a God that is all powerful. He's all knowing and he truly loves and cares for his daughters. That would be us in this room. He cares for us. And so just as that woman stepped out and said, I'm going to go to Jesus with my issue. We need to do the same thing. We need to go to him with our issues, trusting him to do something about it because we can't do it in our own.